two big announcements that really stand out was the fact that University of St. Thomas is going to go test optional yeah. and also uh, a very generous donor has uh, put up a scholarship that's going to mean so much to students. Can you talk about both those things and why those initiatives are so important? You know, those are really important for both, I would say, economic reasons in terms of the future of our university and continuing to attract uh, students and flourish as a university, but they're even more important important for moral reasons, our, our mission to advance the common good, and our moral commitment to all who uh, really have the ability to thrive and flourish at St. Thomas. So the test optional is, you know, it's widely documented that the ACT and the SAT, the scores, are very highly correlated with family income. And for some students who don't come from the families that can really focus on that test preparation and the, you know, the tutoring and whatever it takes and maybe taking the test multiple times or maybe find standardized tests not really good measures of their own abilities, they find those tests a barrier to applying to college. And so they may not even apply to St. Thomas thinking that because they're not that going to do well, as well on that test as you know, I, we believe their abilities you know, would indicate if you look at other measures, may not even apply to us. So almost a third of the accredited US colleges and universities have gone test optional in this country. And I think it's really time that St. Thomas does that eliminates that barrier. It will require, and Al Catrone and his team will be the first to tell you this, but we have full confidence in them. It will certainly require additional work by our admissions team to really do a more holistic uh, evaluation of our applications in terms of GPAs and strength of courses and curriculum and out-of-class activities that people were balancing while they were you know, pursuing. Uh, but I'm really excited about it. 